Welcome back to the vlog. This is not a planned vlog. I'm gonna upload it today. You don't believe me, do you? No. I'm gonna upload it today and Steven doesn't believe me. It's very exciting. Collins, tell them the purpose of this vlog. We have a thousand subscribers. Yay. One thousand subscribers. <laughs> One she thousand. Like that. She doesn't like that. You doing a side face? What you doing? Hi. <laughs> Daddy, pick your nose. Okay, so she's right. Collins is right. We hit 1,000 subscribers. I cannot believe it. I'm so, so excited. This has seriously been such a surprise. I debated on starting my channel for so long. If you go watch my first vlog, I talk about that. And I'm so glad I did. I didn't think it would end up like this. I didn't think it would kind of turn into a lifestyle and motherhood <laughs> vlog. Oh, Woo! Bless you. bless you. But here we are. It did, and I love it, and it is seriously my favorite thing in the world, getting comments from you guys on my videos relating to something I'm going through, or making fun of me, or all the things. I just feel so lucky to have people following along with this life of mine. So we're super, super grateful for that, and to show my appreciation, I'm doing a 1,000 subscriber giveaway. If you don't follow me on Instagram, go follow me there, at Logan, period. H period Maloney. Are you yawning already? You just woke up. Um, because really that's kind of where I do all my Q and A's. You'll see way more day to day of like Collins and stuff like that. I did a little poll about what kind of giveaway that people would want. And if you have followed along with me for a while, then you know I'm all about clean beauty. So it was in between a self care giveaway or a mama and mini giveaway. So we decided on a mama and mini giveaway. That's what my Instagram followers voted for. So I am obsessed with clean beauty. If you followed me for a while, you know I use True Aura. They have pre and probiotics in them. I actually have a video on how I cleared my skin with probiotic skincare. That's True Aura Beauty. So check that out if you haven't already, but I'm going to give away the core four products from True Aura. That's a cleanser, a tonic, a day lotion, and a night cream. This stuff is amazing. It's $120 value. Woo! It's actually... No, no, 120 for TLC, it's $140 value. And then the regulars bundle from Tubby Todd. Now, I've mentioned Tubby Todd briefly for her and how it's changed her skin with her eczema, but I haven't done a full video on it yet. But we're gonna be giving away the regulars bundle, which is the hair and body wash, the everyday lotion, and the all over ointment, which I swear by, I won't use anything else on her skin. It's amazing. Those are clean products as well. And then last but not least, I handpicked some t-shirts, some mama and mini t-shirts from Etsy that um, a couple different designs that the winner will be able to choose from. And like I said, it is baby girl and baby boy friends the t-shirts are so you'll be able to find something if you're a girl mama or a boy mama but I figured that would be best um, just because most of my following is either beauty related or mama related so I thought mama and Minnie would be perfect what do they have to do to become a winner oh wait oh I haven't talked about that either I'll, I'll put that in but I just realized I didn't even mention how to enter the giveaway so that giveaway is valued at over $200 and I'm hoping that I can spoil one of you lucky mamas who is following along with our journey. So in order to enter the giveaway, you need to number one, be subscribed to my channel. Number two, you need to follow me on Instagram. And number three, I'm gonna have a giveaway post on Instagram and you need to tag three friends in that post in order to be entered. So subscribe on YouTube, follow on Instagram and tag three friends in my giveaway post. <gasps> For your three months. <gasps> That's right, my three month old baby. Tag three friends. I'm so, so excited for one of you to win that stuff. It's truly some of my favorite stuff. Twinning with my girl, True Aura, Clean Skin Care for Mama, and Tubby Todd, Clean Skin Care for Baby. Win, win, win. Win, win, win. I am so incredibly grateful for all 1,000 of you, now over 1,000, that have followed along with our life and this little one. This is just a quick little video. To my oh, next video. You know what? I did already. I already mentioned that. So we leave for San Antonio Monday, and I'll be vlogging the whole entire time. So that video will, will hopefully be up the week after next. I already have my video scheduled for this coming Monday, which is two days from now. And I'm also thinking about vlogging Father's Day. I don't know if I told you that. And I also... While I have you guys here talking about the thousand subscriber give giveaway, I figured we would give you a three month update. Oh, it's our three month today. My little girl, Mama's bestie, is three months old today. 
Are you three months? Say, I'm so big. I'm such a big girl. If you follow me on Instagram, then you already saw that. But if not, she is three months today. She was born March 19th. And it is, I cannot believe it is already June 19th. Crazy. I know. So she is three months today. In terms of updates, I haven't updated you guys in a while since I talked about all the crazy stuff that we were dealing with health-wise with her. She still has her clogged tear duct, but it's, uh, I was going to say it's not nearly as bad, but we actually just had an infection. <laughs> <laughs> so she was had seven days of antibiotics in that eye. The choking is virtually done. Would you yeah. agree? She hasn't choked in a long time. She has not choked in such a long time. Why don't you get in the video with me? Oh, come on. <laughs> anyway, so she has not choked in such a long time, which I'm so grateful for. I think it's a combination of like everything in her body maturing and her um, getting used to my overactive letdown. Why do you look so mad, pooty tooty? Her eczema is under control thanks to Tubby Todd and we've been really um, consistent with her lotion. Her sleeping has gotten bad in oh the last God, Y'all, that is weeks, such a good point. So three month sleep. Let's talk about sleep for a little bit. She was an amazing sleeper. I'm talking in her bassinet by herself. She would do four to six hour stretch and then another four hour stretch. Then all of a sudden, like any new mom, I fell asleep with her nursing and sometimes like I would wake up eight hours later and she would be on me which I know is bad but I don't know if I ruined her I don't know what's going on we honestly think that she's hit the four month sleep regression early because now when we're put down in the bassinet we wake up 20 minutes later 20 minutes what yeah not me. Like clockwork. I'm not kidding. The longest she's gone is 25 minutes, but it's 20 minutes. And honestly, nothing else has changed. So I don't understand. We don't know what's going on. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> the number one thing that people have been asking is, do we put her to sleep drowsy but awake? And no, we don't because it doesn't work. She wiggles around like crazy, turns and rolls in her sleep and then wakes herself up so I have to start all over again getting her to sleep. So no, we don't put her down drowsy but awake and I know that's the issue because she doesn't know how to put herself back to sleep. So she wakes up 20 minutes later and can't put herself back to sleep. But what are you supposed to do when they won't do that, you know? So we've been up every 20 minutes. I also mentioned another thing. A couple days ago, she rolled over for the first time from her back to her belly. She hasn't done belly to back by herself yet, which is supposed to be, I think, the first one they do. But so she's rolled from back to belly by herself. She's such Whoa. a big girl. She wants to be standing up like that all the time. And she marches around. You're so big. You're so big. Oh my goodness. I don't know. She's... Okay, so I have like a little mini ring light on my camera and I feel like she's kind of staring at that doing a stank face, but she normally cannot stop smiling, mm -hmm. especially at her mama. Mm -hmm. So she's just a happy baby. Things have gotten better. I remember talking to my friends like the whole month, and, first month and a half of her life. I feel like all she did was cry and now she's the happiest baby, right? I think so. I do too. Her so. wake windows are a lot longer. Yeah, wake windows are longer. So you're you're doing good at topics to talk about. So she is up for a minimum of 75 minutes, and the longest she's up is like an hour and 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. If she's fighting a nap, it'll be like two hours. But for the most part, it's around 80 to 90 minutes. I I'd say is a good wake window for her. She's still eating pretty much on the same schedule. The only thing that I would note about her eating is that she's able to go longer. So I remember like in the first month and a half. We would struggle to even make it two hours, but you know, she was cluster feeding because she was so young. And now um, she goes about two and a half hours. Um, so every two and a half to three hours. So when she eats, she's still exclusively breastfed um, and she eats for about 20 to 30 minutes, usually closer to 30 minutes. The older she's gotten, it's like gone down closer to 20, 25 minutes. I think that's because she's getting more efficient. And also, she's starting to be so distracted during her meals. Literally rolls off the boob and looks around nonstop. She's found her voice. She Ooh, coos uh -uh. nonstop. You want to talk? Ooh, uh -uh. She's found her hands. She prefers her hands over her passy. She sucks on her fingers all the time. So I feel like that's... We've updated on sleep. Um, in terms of her weight, the last time we went to the doctor, which was two weeks ago, I think. Two weeks ago, yeah. yeah, so she was like two and a half months. So she was 12 pounds and 14 ounces, and literally two weeks before that, she was 11 pounds and 13 ounces. So she's gaining weight pretty quick. She's a little chunky girl. But honestly, percentile-wise, she's not too high up there. She's like 70s across the board, I feel like. 
Oh, yeah, I think weight lower though. I thought her weight was like 62%. Yeah, maybe like... was like 70. Yeah, she's yeah. pretty tall. She's like 24 inches long. Um, so she's a tall girl. She's a chunky girl. She's she a happy a girl. She does have a big head like a mama. See, because there's so many brains in there. Tummy time, she's getting better with. She can completely lift her head. She balances on her forearms. You can see her sitting up here. The last time we went to the pediatrician, she was like, oh. She has reflux still. I didn't update that. That really hasn't gotten any better. Has it? Um, the last time we went to the pediatrician, I was just holding her like over my shoulder. And she was like, oh my goodness, look at that head control. Cause she's so strong. Her hair is starting to thin out a little bit in the back. Her hair is thinning out in the back. Look, you can see like her little spot balding. Well, not really balding, but it's getting lighter, and that in that lighting you can tell too. So her hair is lightening up too. She's just so big. We're just in love with her. I'll do a three months postpartum update. So. Wow. Wow. I'll do a three months postpartum update on me separately, just because I want to keep this short. So anyway. I am gonna edit this vlog and get it up today. Okay. You're gonna have to put it on for a nap. He acts like it's not a big deal, but it is. All right. Oh, I didn't really talk about her naps. They're short. That's all there is to say. I should have planned out that update better, but it was kind of impromptu. Three month update. <laughs>